Hi, I'm Paul, co-founder of Summer, and we help data centers be more efficient, sustainable, and powerful. Today, I'm going to talk about three metrics in three minutes. Basically, as you may know, uh, data centers and the internet infrastructure is very hungry. It consumes more electricity than India, it's crazy. And an average data center consumes the amount of water in an Olympic swimming pool every two days. Uh, basically, to keep track of these inefficiencies and, and, and waste, there are three metrics that um, are very simple. Basically, the power user's effectiveness. Very simple to explain, but probably very difficult to track sometimes. Uh, the power user effectiveness, the data center infrastructure efficiency, and the water usage effectiveness. The power user effectiveness is the ratio between the total energy consumption of your data center, including the compute, the cooling, moving air, lighting, AC to DC power conversion, and so on, by only the compute, where the value is. This means that the closer to one, uh, you are only investing energy where it makes sense, which is the compute and the logical capacity that you get out of the uh, data center. Basically, uh, the average PUE of the industry has been stalling since 2013 on around 1.6 PUE. So there's a huge margin to improve and, and technologies like Summer, of course, can help a lot on that. But this also translates um, directly into the data center infrastructure um, efficiency, which is basically the opposite ratio, is basically the, the amount of energy you are investing in compute and where the value is by uh, the rest of the things that you have to invest energy usually, you know. Um, the, the higher this uh, percentage, this means that the, you are investing uh, only in the compute, so the closer to 100%, you are more efficient, you no? Know? It's like also one by the PUE, it's another way of, of, of measuring it, it's just another way of, of measuring the same, I would say, but this, it is interesting because usually in these kind of metrics you uh, don't look at another, I would say, a secondary metric which is the IT user's effectiveness. Uh, outside the PUE, or if you zoom in in the PUE where the compute is in theory, you can see that actually around 10 to 25% of the electricity is being wasted by moving air within the service with the fans inside the service. So this would be the IP usage effectiveness, how you can optimize at the compute level also the efficiency of your data center. Um, that would be the cherry on top. Uh, and then um, we have the water usage effectiveness. Uh, the water usage effectiveness is how many liters are you investing in cooling uh, with water by the uh, actual kilowatts of compute that you have. No? So uh, the least amount of water that you're investing, of course, the better. So if you can invest zero or need zero water, that would be uh, the best. No, but on the, on the other hand, usually what happens in, in traditional data centers is that you have to play with these different variables to make it efficient. And whenever you work with lower PUEs, you usually are leveraging more evaporative or uh, water-based uh, cooling systems that uh, evaporate a lot of water. No, so uh, you have to play around these two things, um, and, and, and we hope we can uh, and we can bring uh, more more sustainability on that front to make sure that everything stays equilibrated and and, and making uh, good use of our resources. Uh, that's pretty much it. You have an ebook to understand more about it uh, that you can download. And thank you very much. Submer. Data centers that make sense.